am I life? I think I'm alive. I think I am life. Well, <laughs> the tits are not good. Oh my god, wait, wait. much better like this anyway my darlings the light is not very well placed but that's the look the entire look my wig if you don't know how to create this wig go feel videos back and um, you will see the, the latest videos I teach you how to create this fabulous 70s RuPaul whatever you can call it wig it's a lot of hair a lot of volume and it's mine I, I've done myself I did myself well I'm wearing a very very special dress in Lilipucci especially for you on um, why I decided to do this video I told you because it's a very special day. We are almost ending 2018. Like I told you, it was a great year for me. I've done great of great things. I'm very proud of my my work here on YouTube, being a drag queen in Brussels, improving growing as an artist I'm very very proud of it and uh, I told you a lot of things happened to me also when you go to the side of love I fell in love I suffered I cried I had a bad time but I've learned I rebuilt myself I learned I am not angry but I was very very sad but suddenly I just told myself this is how life it is you meet people you fall in love you break up and it goes on and on and on and that's it and I told you during summertime I was facing really really difficult times and one thing that kept me going really was my drag it was my work as a drag queen it was this channel I never gave up doing my drag my YouTube channel never uh, even when I was very very sad I said I must go on doing what I love most and I did. I told you, some people that follows me, they follow me for a long, long time. Some of them, they wrote me when I was very sad. They said, you are not okay. Are you sad, sugar love? Something is happening. And I said, my God, how, did they, how could you see that? And they said, well, from your eyes. And it was true. I was really, when I was sad, my eyes could say a lot. But anyway, not anymore. Now I am really, um, everything is in, pa in the past now, and I forget, I forget, I forgive and I forget, I shall forget, we don't forget this kind of thing, but we go on. Anyway, oh my darlings, I, I'm, I'm going to read afterwards, okay, because now with the contact lenses, without my glasses, without my my thing there to see I don't see a thing I'm gonna read your comments afterwards um, and that's it um, it was a great year I'm approaching 100,000 subscribers with this YouTube channel I am so happy really happy I told you I have a lot of plans for next year, like doing video music, uh, probably on 
January I'm gonna we are gonna launch the video we recorded in, in September before I went to Brazil I recorded a video with Sonam he's a young director a great director we had this idea that doing a crazy video with two characters that I that I play and uh, we we recorded the video in 12 hours can you imagine 12 hours I stayed 12 hours in drag with the same makeup I just changed the makeup a little bit but it was great we were a, a group of young people and uh, so now, now he's working uh, the post production he's doing the the editing he did the first editing so we're going to have an idea how the the video will look like but he told me last week that on by February he he's gonna finish the editing because he wants to do something very very special we are going to use a song that exists already the song is very very gorgeous very very nice oh there is a big comment here but I don't see my darlings oh I'm sorry I promise you I'm gonna read your comment afterwards so um, we plan to launch the video with in two versions maybe three the first one with the song that I, we've planned um, it's a French song um, second version of a French song the song is from the 70s and this group European group I won't say a thing about the, the song it's a surprise um, this new group just did a remix a kind of they did the song again with a different beat and I'm gonna do this I'm gonna use this song on the video and so Nam said listen um, we could do another version with another song maybe a better song and a song that I wouldn't have uh, copyrights problems because I do have copyrights problems when I post songs some youtubers they know what I mean so the idea is um, to release two different versions so then the, the other one I can at least make some money and I'm working I'm planning something with another director a young Flemish guy Vinko he was the director of the short movie I did last year and now this short movie is going everywhere on the TV and everything it's a very very cool um, short movie um, I can post also the link not now afterwards but if you go to my previous videos you will see I did several videos talking about this short movie it was a great great movie and I play like mother nature um, and uh, it was very very cool very very good experience and now the, 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 the video is everywhere the short movie is going on the TV and I um, was very very proud to be part of it so I spoke to Vinko and he's in Brussels now and we are gonna meet next week because we have to talk about the product we, we are planning because he likes music he likes to create images that's why he, he, he was the, the director of this short movie because he plays with images and sounds and I was talking to him and I said listen Vinko what do you think if we do something together I have a public out there I have this YouTube channel a lot of views every day so maybe if we do something together we can do a hit on the internet and he said so what do you want to do I said I don't know I want to do like a, a song but I don't want to I don't want to sing I want to say words or phrases I may sing a little bit but in a very soft voice and you know with computer you can change everything so I told him my drag my art of form 
it's something completely artificial. Um, so why not associate this artificial image with the artificial sounds and create some videos? Then he said, well, that's not a bad idea. So we're going to meet up. I should record something before, but I think we should first we meet, we talk, we discuss a little bit, and maybe then I can record something, because he said he's going to bring a, something to record. So maybe I should prepare a text. Hmm. Yeah, I should. And um, maybe in a few months we have a, a new product. Maybe I'm going to sing. I'm going to make songs. And that's also the, what I want to talk to you guys. I've got this Patron. Go to my previous videos. Please go there. Because there you can see all the, the stuff I'm... I'm posting about this Patron also because Ginko told me you should start a, a Patron because it's a good way to get some money because if we want to do something very serious we should go to studios and studios are expensive are very very expensive because you have to pay the rent for the studio you have to pay the people working there the technicians you have to pay them this is gonna cost at least four or five thousand euros I said well let's let's start that so I started my patron so if you like if you are rich if you have a lot of money you want to invest in a poor drag queen in Brussels trying to do more art go to my patron give me some money so like this 2019 can be different you can be the sponsor of a, a beautiful song a beautiful video and the idea also is to create videos with surreal images I don't want something square no I want something really crazy and because I'm in Belgium and Belgium is a country for surreal stuff Magritte was here. Magritte was from here, from Brussels. I love Magritte. I, I love this kind of surreal, very refined, very practical. So let's see. All this is for next year. And um, also about my YouTube channel. I'm going to bring a lot of things. Transformations, for example, I am doing a transformation every week. This week I did twice. I did a transformation yesterday. Crazy transformation. Go back to my videos, you will see. So the idea is to bring one transformation, myself, doing a makeup, every week, a live video. I can show because I don't feel like doing videos, tutorials, editing because tutorials there are thousands. Maybe in the future when I have uh, uh, more people even helping me, I can do tutorials so I can just concentrate doing my makeup and somebody will record, will do the, the editing. So, like this, I can do tutorials, but now I have to do everything. I have to do my makeup, I have to pay attention. And after I have to record, it's very hard. Um, so, I, that's why I had the idea of doing those live videos. Because I show you how I do my makeup, I can talk to you, I can tell you what I'm doing, and I don't have to worry. Of course, the image is not very good because the light is not great but anyway it's the way I found to show you my transformations so one transformation a week videos also when I go out interviews with drag queens I've done already some interviews but I want I want to also bring some drag young drag queens older drag queens to to do my makeup with them so the idea is i will bring someone and i'm gonna 
do the makeup with another person and I'm going they he's going to teach me how to do his makeup or you know and in the end we are going to be very like sisters twin sisters you know what I mean like this I show a different drag queen a different technique a different makeup and I will learn also different stuff I mean I think that's very very nice so this also I have in two weeks one drag queen coming here Belgian drag queen very very nice very young very talented so she agreed she was very happy I invited her she's gonna come at, at my place and we're gonna do this video but I have already I've, I've done that before so go back to my videos and you will see so that's it for 2018 a lot of things will come and um, I also had the idea of traveling a little bit um, travel in Europe by going to some capitals because you know I'm in Brussels Brussels is not far from Germany Holland France England so I said why not if I could travel all those places and show different drag queens different discos and I could do vlogs um, and I can make my channel even bigger you know what is this who is capital can you see my dress can you see it can you see my Emilio Pucci that's an that's an original original Emilio Pucci I'm so proud that's the only Emilio Pucci I've got I'm damn proud of my Emilio Pucci oh well so that's the idea travel a little bit but for all those things I need money that's why my patron is going on because I really need money to do that and also if I find um, sponsors that could be cool you know I could travel I could stay in hotels BNB for example and they can give me two three days for free I can do a vlog talking about their hotels about their places and uh, like this everybody's happy because I can do a big publicity for them you know that's what I want to do with my channel also I want to make my channel um, a, a point where people can learn about drag the drag world and everything that goes with it you know what I mean discos shops brands all this stuff talking about brands I someone from China contacted me last week we are fixing a collaboration so let's wait he said that now he's waiting for the answer of the boss the big boss and if the big boss said yes um, we are gonna work together and I think I'm gonna bring a nice product so let's see I'm still waiting if not I tell you again I'm open for this kind of stuff I can do reviews on products I can do a lot of stuff I tell you um, I have something like 25,000 views a day with this channel so people watch it they do all around the world they do watch so think about it let's try collaboration let's make people dream okay my darling so now I'm gonna rest a little bit I'm gonna do more pictures so look my way this is really 70s isn't it I thought this dress was late 60s but I think it's 70s that's why I decided to wear my big wig that I'm so proud you know for years I was looking for people for sponsors for example I follow a lot of people producing and making wigs I don't have the money now to spend I love their work I would love to buy their wigs but I don't have the money so I was really expecting some people to send me some wigs for free but they never do 
apart my wigs boutique it's a friend of mine in france he gave me some wigs and uh, this is very helpful for me but this time i said you know what i've done this wig and i'm damn proud of it and i said you know i'm gonna use my wig then if nobody send me for free i'm gonna wear my wig then i am very happy because it's a lot of volume it's a lot of hair and it's my style of wig 70s yes late 60s anyway so this is my makeup if you want to see more pictures of my makeup have a look my instagram my facebook when you open my youtube channel the first page you you can see the links even my email everything is over there so have a look there you can see the pictures i post some of them because i tell you this kind of makeup i do is for a stage so it's very strong contouring very strong colors but on stage is fine because i told you the light is so strong even here at my place it's very very strong and um at least when i do some pictures i can work with some filters to make things a little bit softer and then you can you can have an idea of the makeup much better okay my darlings because what i see there is not very very nice but anyway that's what I can do right now. Maybe in the future, I told you, when I have more money, I can have good material. I can even work and record on, on a studio. In a studio, I mean. So let's see. Finger crossed for next year. Okay, so now I should leave you. Tomorrow, then, I go to a Brazilian restaurant, I do my makeup there, and after I will do, because I, I, I don't work there, it's going to be for free, I will do, um, show a number there, and after I go to the night, and probably I will sleep very, very late, and I will bring my camera, I will try to record to some vlogs, I won't promise to do a lot of things because I always tell people I will do, I will record videos. And when I get there, it's too much people, too many people, people are talking all the time. Last time I, I was talking in the dressing room, the last vlog I did, they were talking so loud that I couldn't, you couldn't hear very well. But anyway, that's why I'm recording at my place once a week because here I am calm. I'm by myself, I can stop and go on when I want, it's much better, and I can say things I want to say, um, but I don't promise you, I will try my best, hmm? so tomorrow, maybe I'll do a live then, yes, maybe I'll do a live, yeah, I will do a live then, but if I don't, if something happens from here, I cannot do it. I wish you right now a great year. Thank you so much for your support, for your love, for the messages you give me. Because those things help me a lot, you know. They, they give me good energy to go on and to do more stuff. Of course, I told you in the, in the last video, the previous video when I was doing the live, running a youtube channel sometimes is it's it's very it's very nice because i share the things i do the things i love with people that appreciate but you also will meet people that don't like what you do so and after it comes the haters so you have people that don't like they don't agree with with the things you do like a guy dressing up, doing drag stuff, and after the haters. The haters, there are many haters when you 
at least that's what how I see the thing. I see some haters that they just hate because they hate everything. They're there at their place, hidden behind the computer with fake profiles. So they think they are very powerful and they can say whatever they want and they, they are mean and they are really bad thinking that they will hurt the person. Well, I must say, I get hate every day. I get love every day. Every day I get people sending me messages saying that they love what I do and everything. And this is what I want. And this is what I expect. And this is what I love. And when some hate comes... I read everything and I just see the people that write hateful things they are so sad they think they say things like you are miserable your life is miserable but no no I'm not miserable I'm not miserable at all I have my life I have a house I've got friends a lot of friends I behave myself when I live in society, when I go out, when I take a bus, when I go to the supermarket, I help people. Today, for example, I was on the streets of Brussels, a, a drunk man fell, he was in liquid mock. I stopped with another guy, we put him up, and uh, we said, are you okay, mister, blah, 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 and he said, oh, thank you, I was so kind, and so kind. So I behave myself in society, I'm a good citizen, I pay taxes, and uh, I'm not miserable. No, on the contrary, my darlings, I'm very happy, because I don't live a lie. My life is what it is. I'm transparent. When I'm out of drag, I don't lie to people. I don't need to lie and live my life hidden. You know what I mean? So I'm not miserable at all. I do what I love. I'm an artist. I produce. I do my shows. I run this channel. A lot of people appreciate my work. Why should I be miserable? Because you think that a drag queen is miserable because a drag queen doesn't know what she wants. Well, my darling, read. Do some research. Read. Learn. What it is a drag queen? What is it? And you will find out. And you're, gonna, you're not going to waste your time writing. You are miserable. You're going to burn in hell. I'm not going burn I'm not going to burn in hell at all. No, I won't. Just because I won't. Because I'm good. You think I'm bad, but I'm good. You don't know me. You don't have to judge me because you don't know me. That's it. That's what I was telling you. When you run a YouTube channel, you must get prepared for this kind of stuff. Really. And I am. I am. In the beginning, I was kind of... Uh, when I was getting those comments, I was disappointed. I was sad. But not now. Not now. I see the hate. I leave the comments. I never uh, delete. Some people say, why don't you delete the comments? I said, no. I leave the comments because my fans will protect me. They will answer. I cannot answer. As a YouTuber, I cannot answer hate because it's bad for me, um, you know. So YouTube already told me, when you get hate, leave it. Or you just um, don't allow people to leave comments. But I love listening to people. And that's why I leave open. Everybody can leave comments. But that's why I do when I get some hate. I read it, 
And that's it. And of course, after you have the religious people, a lot from all kinds of religion. I'm not talking about one religion. All kinds. And I don't understand those. I, that's why I told you. For me, those are false people. They are not happy with their life because they are judging. In all religions, as far as I know, all religions in this planet preach love, preach respect. And if you say you belong to a religion and you hate and you don't respect, you are a sinner. You are going to burn in hell. Not me. You. Because I don't hate. I respect people. So who is the sinner? Think about it, Mr. Hater. Think it. Think it. So, I'm not talking about religion here, because I respect all kinds of religions, but I do get a lot of comments about religious people. And they're all the same. You are against nature, you are going to burn in hell. That's the typical comments I get. Am I against nature? Because I'm an artist? Because I bring a character? Because I study? I study this character. I have to learn makeup. I have to learn about fashion. I have to learn about wigs. I'm an artist. Am I going to hell because of this? I'm so sorry, I don't think so. So just to tell you also, this is part also of my life as a YouTuber. And uh, this is how I react. I'm extremely happy with, um, with my career. And I think I still have a lot of things to do and to create. Being surrounded by young people now, it's helping me a lot because it's opened up my mind. And I, I'm really thirsty to create more and to make more art and to first improve my art also this is also what i want most to improve my art i met someone a few months ago a few weeks ago maybe he knew me from the very beginning when i started doing drag and uh, he stayed like two no no maybe more maybe four years without seeing me and he saw me, and he came to me and said, I have to tell you, oh my God, how you have changed. You are completely different. Your character, you improved so much. The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you behave yourself, the manners. He said, it's incredible. You are right. Uh, you are doing it perfectly. And I was so proud, so happy to, to hear that. Because he saw me in the beginning where I didn't have the control. Because, you know, that's how I see drag queen also. Being a drag queen. When you build a character. You do the makeup. You create the character. The wig. The hip pads and everything. But it's like a puppet. That you have control. And in the beginning, you don't know how to control it. So the puppet it's, doesn't know how to move very well. The puppet is really lost. But once you start to learn how to move the legs, the arms, the head, and the voice and everything, the puppet becomes better and better. And this is really la like how it works, because you have to learn how to not be you, it's the character there. That's very, very funny. And uh, he said, well, you're doing fine, because 
that is nothing to do with the sugar love I met five years ago. And I was very happy. I took it very, very, in a good way. So that's it, my darlings. I think I spoke a lot. And you must be tired of listening to me. But this is how, this is how I want to end this year. I want to be by myself tonight at my place. Um, do my makeup, talk to you, create. I was very happy with this look, believe me, very, very happy. And also, also I want to, to do a video, and a live video, it's going to stay there forever. Because like this I can express myself and I can tell you a little bit about my feelings about 2018. So, I just have to tell you, I was very, very happy. I've been at Shimamu for more than one year now. I've done nice things there. I met a lot of great people also. And um, that's it. I'm just going to look for the positive and good things of a night 2018. Sorry, the rest I will forget. Promise you. And of course, because one year is ending, the other one is just going to start. I'm already planning a lot of good things, as I told you in the beginning of the video, and I'm very, very excited for it next year. And hopefully, you're gonna be there with me to follow my crazy things, and hopefully, you're gonna help me also, telling me what you wanna see looks you want you want me to create good sponsors for me wigs dresses makeup earrings talking about earrings look at this made in china baby made in china made in china yes um afterwards tomorrow morning when i wake up i will post the links about those things about the wig about the earrings, okay? So you can enjoy, you can buy one wing like mine. And if you buy, you say, I bought because I saw on the Sugar Love show. So they will realize that my channel brings them clients. Okay, my darlings, so that's it. Um, if you wanna hear, if you want to hear something about the makeup, that's it. Wait, I'm going to bring my mirror here so I can see a little bit more of my makeup. But that's what I told you. It was a lot of... Um, I started with brown, the cut crease, after I used a few oranges, dark, light, orange, more brown, some even some yellow I used. And after I did the big eyeliner under, I glued two pieces of false eyelashes I think it gives a good touch I did the nose lipstick with the cry um, pencil by MAC cherry the color and after some gloss and some white and that's it my dress by Emilio Pucci if you don't know Emilio Pucci I will tell you something about it. Emilio Pucci was a designer from the 60s, very popular in America. In Europe, of course, he was Italian. And he created gorgeous, gorgeous dresses. One very important thing about Emilio Pucci is he created a dress series of dresses what's wrong with my wig no i think it's okay yes it's okay marilyn monroe was a big client of emilio pucci so each time she was going to new york she was buying emilio pucci so she had that all kinds of green purple dresses trousers everything emilio pucci she had a lot of emilio pucci and one thing that few people know is that she was buried with the Emilio Pucci. Yes, Marilyn Monroe was buried with a, a green 
Emilio Pucci. Um, she she was wearing this Emilio Pucci when the last time she wear she was wearing it was when she was in Mexico, a few months before she died. So you can see the pictures. She was gorgeous. She was very thin. She lost weight. She was very thin, and she loved this dress. And the day she died, and um, one day before she was buried, or a few days before, they they had to dress her. And her half sister came, and the her, her housekeeper uh, put apart all the dresses that her half sister was going to choose. So she arrived and she said, Oh, Marilyn loved blue, so I will take this blue. And her housekeeper said, Well, she loved blue, but the dress she loved most, the most, and she was wearing all the time was this green, Emilio Pucci. And her sister said, Well, you knew her bef better than me because you, you were living with her. So they pick up the um, green Emilio Pucci and that's how she was buried amazing isn't it and now I also got a Emilio Pucci original isn't it a fabulous it is I love it tell me what do you think leave me a comment and say sugar your Emilio Pucci is just perfection Okay, my darling, so I think now I am done, now I can go. But before, I think I'm going to record a video with a good camera. And I have to do more some few pictures and I can take off the makeup. It took me three hours for this makeup. You can imagine, three hours. But it was worth it. I loved it. I loved it, really. The light is not very good, but I do like it. The way I build the eyes and the cut crease, I do like it. I was very happy. That's why I also decided to do this video. Because I said, you know what, I will create a, a makeup that I'm used to, the technique I'm used but I will try to do my best to do to create the best of the year. And I think I did. Especially with the wig, the earrings, and the dress. The look is nice. I like it. So I'm waiting to know what do you think about this look. Alright? I hope you're gonna say sugar. That's your best look. Um, someone told me that the look I did last week, I think, with the big eyes also, they said that was the best look I created. Oh, there are some messages. I promise you guys, I'm going to read all the messages afterwards. But I don't know, I think this looks really pretty. Kind of 70s lady. That's me, Sugar Love, late 60s, earlier 70s. Okay, my darlings? So, now I leave you, for sure. But before I leave you, once again, thank you so much for your love, for your respect for my work, for your comments, and even some people that share my videos, all those kind of things, you really make me happy. Okay, so see you tomorrow with another live. Maybe it's going to be confused because I'm, I'm going to be in a place crowded. But I can show you some different stuff. And I can record also some vlogs. And we'll see you for sure next year. That's for sure. Oh, who is writing me here with a beautiful message? If I could read, but where is my... No, it's not here, and I cannot read. I promise you I'm going to read all your messages afterwards. Okay, now if you go to bed, sleep tight, 
if you go out because here in Brussels is late already if you go out don't drink too much and never drive when you drink okay ask someone take a taxi Uber but don't drive and drink they're not good okay but if you do go out have fun if you are with friends family if you are by yourself the most important thing is to love yourself if you are by yourself and you love yourself everything is fine look at me by myself at my room sharing my passion because I don't feel like going out I could go out I have a lot of friends outside a lot of places to go and now that I'm becoming famous in Brussels I don't pay drinks that's very good but I just didn't feel like going out I said why should I go out when I can do a video and share my passion with the entire world because you're gonna end the year and I want to give you this present and I do hope you liked it okay so now I really leave you play safe stay safe and I see you tomorrow okay bye thank you so much for watching ciao